mock test for Monday, November the 14th, and this is More and Rapper with Hitch by Dogface, 18.09 megabytes to download. And we have, um, it's a pack of two, actually, uh, items. It's a modified crone uh, mower and a modified wrapper. Uh, 20... 20 slots for the mower. The wrapper, uh, we will just take a quick look here, is six slots. So what's going on here is he has added a hitch to the crone mower, which is curious because the the base game crone mower already has a hitch, but um, it does have obviously some options uh, include in addition to the hitch. What is really notable is this uh, modified bail wrapper which he has also added a hitch which did not have a hitch before so that is fairly significant now one thing to note with this mod if you uh, um, install it and put it on uh, want to add it to your map uh, and a notification will come up and it will ask you that uh, if you want to download this piece of equi equipment the Anderson Group TSR 3450 now you don't have to but apparently the modder uh, has included this to work along with this system now we're going to go and set it all up and show you how it all works um, and um, in further in this video and so uh, that's what we're going to about, about to do but I wanted to give you a heads up and uh, let's take a look anyways at that mower right off the bat and it'll be in mowers and here it is so there's the base game one and here is the uh, big m450 with pto so uh, he has actually added a pto option on there um and it, to design to work with a baler which we will show of course uh and also it has added uh, extra horsepower, so 449 for the base one, and now we have 549 to 603, so extra horsepower to run that baler or anything else you want to tow behind it, which is uh, uh, very much uh, appreciated. Variable rate transmission, 780 liters of fuel, yeah, everything is the same, 24 miles per hour, 15.6 tons. 10 meters width 15 miles per hour working speed and as i said 20 slots so let's have a look at it we have the engine we have the linder 9d or d946 at 549 or we can bump up that to the 603 horsepower yes please <clears throat> wheel brands trailerberg michelin continental bkt vertistein and trailerberg they all have either the standard or the twin twin front wheels which is kind of nice so yeah they all it's they're all the they're all the same so main color we have a choice of all the standard colors so we could go orange for that color design paint two let's go purple and design paint three uh let's make that pink and that's what you have for the different colors and choices let's make that maybe uh, yellow so you can see yellow uh, green yes yeah. so you can see the different color combinations no charge for the design paint main color charge is a thousand bucks oh that pretty <laughs> um, right uh, as for the bale wrapper, that will be found under bale wrappers. And there it is. See, it has the little hitch icon, so you can know which one it is. The KUHNSW4014 with hitch, $54,000. So same price as the base game one. It will do round or square bales and six slots as i said it is a bale wrapper now wheel brands we have the trelleborg vertistein michelin bkt and trelleborg so all those different styles of uh wheel setup is standard work lights and beacons we have a beacon if you like and a work light 
foil color we do have a few interesting choices we have green we have black pink so the standard choices of colors and also a kind of more of a light red it's called yellow uh, blue green and then uh, orange of course and then choose a color so standard is actually the color of the machine and we have some interesting colors a chrome red a metallic yellow blue a purple basically it's a chrome purple uh green and orange and then into your uh what is this a white uh so we have silver oh it's kind of a silver light gray yeah and then into your standard uh color palette colors pink even and rim color you can choose any of those fancy dancy chrome colors or a standard color as well right okay so the uh the anderson group that's a bail loader and i'll have a video on that separately but there it is that's uh, what has uh, suggests to add when you go to uh, enter a map with this it's going to say do you want to download this so you don't have to but that's kind of what happens i just want to let you know it's not necessary uh, other things will hook up we're going to test up this hitch to see what else it hooks up to uh, right now it's a pin hitch so we know pin hitch hooks up to that right uh, one other thing to note, uh, unless <laughs> this is a two point hitch, it's not going to hook up to this. If you're trying to hook it up to the mower, not that you would hook it, not that you'd have any reason to hook it up to the mower. It's a bale wrapper. So it wraps bales, not grass, but just to kind of let you know, um, anyways. All right. So I'm going to go set this all up and we'll see, you, um, after the transition. All right, so before we get into the field, uh, we're gonna have a look at these uh, these items here that came in the pack. First of all, the mower. If we see, uh, this is how you purchase it. It'll pop up like this if you just get the base model. Uh, so L1 and X unfolds like so. And then you can uh, L1 and circle. It will lower the, and yeah, it's gonna do it. There it goes. And then L1 and square will turn it on, like so. Turn it off. All right, so. Uh, also, uh, work mode, L1 and, no, L, R1, L1, R1. Yeah, R1 and L3, you can widespread, so it'll spread, just cut it and lay it down, or it will sw lay a swath, left swath, right swath, widespreading. Swath dropping means it will all collect it in one big swath right behind it. <clears throat> right, so just like the normal one, it is not, no different than the other base game um mower other than uh yeah it has more power and it has a um an added hitch on the back which we're going to test right now with pin hitch which we know it hooks up to a pin hitch also it has uh, a pto which you see right here there's the pto there so anything with a pto will attach to that now whereas the base game mower will not so there's a uh, there's the pin hitch so you can pull a trailer around with this if you want let's try the ball hitch real quick here and then we'll move on to the wrapper and then we'll get into the so yes it has pin hitch and ball hitch both so i think that's different than the base game i think the base game one only hooks up to a pin hitch so uh, it is worth getting this if you do a lot of mowing with this uh, with this crone mower. This is a lot of upgrades, extra horsepower, PTO, two kinds of hitches, 
uh, and the color choices uh, make this plus the bale wrapper that comes with this also comes with a hitch as we've shown and that we're going to we already know it hooks up to a pin hitch but we'll try it on this trailer here if I can get the camera angle to cooperate here there we go pin hitch yes no problem unhook that and let's back up to this ball hitch if you can see if I can see what I'm doing there we go uh, uh, there we go oh that's did not line up properly let's get that again and uh, it does not appear that a ball hitch will hook to this back of this no so that's a hard no for ball hitch just so you know right let's look through the options on this bale wrapper L1 and X unfolds it so that will basically open it up like so as you can see and it changes the angle so that now it trails to the side right got it okay L1 you can turn on automatic drop so it will once it wraps it it will automatically drop it we will show you that uh, we have one set up out in the field L1 and right stick up and down now that's an interesting option because it is to adjust that rear hitch as you can see that rear hitch now you can adjust it out in or out depending on what you're pulling behind it and we have some options for pulling behind now let's just take a look at our bale loaders aside from the Anderson one that it, it recommends and suggests you download bale loaders we have a several base game ones we also have uh, the base game one here and that is a pin hitch so that will hook up uh, let's see auto load um, I don't have any um, uh, modified auto load trailers except for this Anderson group one we also have this one is that a pin hitch it appears to be a pin hitch so that is the um, basically the criteria for anything to hook up to this if you're using a modded auto load trailer make sure it's a pin hitch a ball hitch won't hook up to that right okay so I think we're done with that um, it's pretty basic simple operation we're going to show you that right now as we're going to go in here and hop into our mower so you can see we have a mower uh, the worker is using it so yes the worker will mow the grass and bale the grass for you uh, now that's something we could do before but now now as you can see the PTO is hooked up kind of oddly though oh <laughs> I think the animation's just a tad flawed here um, with the, how that PTO is hooked up uh, it's a little bit interesting but as you can see everything else is hooked up uh, it does work so a little tweak with the animation um, is is not game breaking or anything as you can see we're use we're we're making this is the crone this is a base game crone baler right here um if you choose to go with a baler that has a wrapping function i don't think the base game one has oh there it is uh here's here's a round baler with a with a with a wrapping function now the problem with a round baler is when uh, even if you have automatic unload it's gonna stop picking up while it's unloading and you're gonna miss a bunch of the the worker is not gonna stop he's gonna keep going and he won't pick up so square baler if you're gonna have a worker do this square baler is the way to go and, and not with a wrapping function because anytime there's a wrapping function on the back uh, the worker won't stop right okay so that's how this works if you want to know okay let's let's show you let's just back it up if you want to operate this manually you're gonna to have to go into your mower and 
lower it and start it up right and as you can see it mows and it uh, drops the swath I have swath dropping to the center because that's what you want if you are using a baler now you highlight the baler L1 and um, the pickups already down you can lift and lower the pickup with the circle button and then square turn it on there we go square baler is now turned on and just drive forward and it's going to pick up and it's going to mow and pick up at this uh, and, and bail at the same time now notice our speeds 10 miles per hour that is uh, that is can that is because the baler we have attached is only operates at 10 miles per hour so it's limited to the baler that it's attached to if we detach the baler we can go 15 miles per hour and does the old t double tap trick work yes so <laughs> Uh, so the old uh, L1 and you double tap the X to fold the mower but it doesn't actually fold you can go faster than 15 miles per hour you can go up to the 26 miles per hour right so that's just the little trick of the uh, the fast farming trick from FS19 that still works with this particular mower anyways all right so that's just a little bit of a interesting to note if you like doing the fast farming trick with the base game one it will work with this one as well now uh where is our where is our there we go now as for the bale wrapper we have it hooked up to the recommended anderson uh anderson group ts r3450 that was recommended to work along with this and as you can see it does line up very nicely and so we get in our bale uh, let's just disconnect the um, trailer for a second so we can see the options L1 as you as you know we have the right stick up and down with just the, the trailer hitch right and so we have uh, turn on or turn off automatic drop. You don't have to turn this on because it is basically always on. Once it's unfolded, we just move forward. It will pick it up and it'll start wrapping it. So if we hook up our trailer to it and it is ready to go, the trailer operation is the same as you would normally use it. Nothing special with that and then it picks it up as you drive forward it's not going to be the fastest process it takes a while to wrap the bale so it's not faster wrapping or anything like that and as we pull forward we have to wait for that to finish There we go. So you're limited to the speed of the wrapper. The bale loader actually doesn't matter what kind of uh, bale loader you have be behind you. You're going to be limited to the speed of the wrapper anyways. So it's just a way to uh, it's very nice to see modders adding uh, hitches to these implements that you can multitask like this and it's just nice to be able to do more than one thing at a time now if you figured out a way to get a get a, if you put a um, a rake on the front of this tractor a worker would uh, no a worker wouldn't do that because a rake this is these are bales this is totally manual this is a total manual operation there's no way to get a worker to do this um, this is strictly yeah but that's the bale wrapper nice different colors you can get your choice of color yeah so color choice plus the hitch on the back very nice to see uh if we get our yeah here we go we're, we're we got them all together here so there it is that's the mower and wrapper with hitch plus uh, lots of other goodies 
included with this um, uh, mod. This is by Dogface, 18.09 megabytes to download, 20 slots for the mower. I believe I said six slots for the bale wrapper. And if you choose to um, add the bale loader, um, that's up to you. Uh, you can choose yes or no with that. Um, and uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Louie Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.